Peter, home win, clean sheet. On the whole, you must be pretty pleased with Unite's work. Yeah, yeah, they've, uh, they've put another good shift in. They've carried on from where they finished off on Saturday. Um, yeah, anyway, I think we was, you know, Scott's really not been troubled by anything in particular. Um, so defensively, we, we looked pretty sound. Um, and obviously, at the other end, we looked quite potent apart from that, that final final push. Yeah, so it must be the only sort of negative on your mind. But we didn't quite win by more, but if you're not going to concede, it doesn't yeah. matter if you get the it's one. Not, it's not a negative for me. I've just said to them in there, obviously, we, we can be a little bit more clinical. Um, and obviously, it would have made it far more comfortable for ourselves. But um, but at the end of the day, I'd be more disappointed if we weren't creating anything. So, But we're creating chances. Um, you know, and they were good opportunities as well. They weren't just half chances, they were good chances. But the performance as a whole was really good and solid throughout the whole game. So, because um, Weymouth are difficult to play against. Um, they, they, they play quite an expansive game and it's, uh, it's tough to try and cover everywhere. But like I said, the lads have put in another really good shift again tonight and, and got their just desserts in the end. When they could have dropped back and got leggy, the boys continued going and continued pressing. You must be delighted with the mentality, particularly in the second half. We've talked a lot over the over the four games now about mentality and, and about you know it's a, they have to have the right mentality and the approach to to, to attack the games um, with what we're with what we're asking of them and they look strong tonight they look physically competitive um, and they and they kept pressing right throughout the game and obviously one or two are a bit short of minutes but that and that showed towards the end but um, but like I said hopefully we'll have a few more a few more bodies in the ranks by um, by Saturday. Yeah, for the boys to do it without Matt Preston and Josh Walker in the squad, that must please you as well. And to bring young Antonis on with a few minutes to go. Yeah, I mean, like I said, he could have could have written a nice little story for himself at the end there of his chance. But really pleased for him to to get on. He's been knocking on the door lately and asking questions about why he's not getting more game time, which is which is fine. But he needs to be more consistent. And um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, it was obviously we've we've not got the biggest squad at the moment. Obviously with Matt, Josh, and Elliot all missing. Um, then uh, you know it made it tough, but again, Tyrone stepped back into into centre half, and I thought he was outstanding tonight, um, as well as obviously Nuge and the whole back four. I thought they were great, and uh, like I said, we've got you know we've got some young fresh legs to come on and, and run around at the end there. Wesley, of course, scored the vital goal, but I thought his performance was magnificent tonight. What was your take on it? Because he uh, looks like a man with plenty of confidence at the moment. Well, we've, I've 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 sort of had a not had a pop at him. I've I've pushed him this year. I've. I don't think he's been pushed enough. I think he's, you know, we're demanding more of him now and he needs to be fitter and stronger physically um, to play the role he wants to play. And he also adds, needs to add goals to his season and now he's got two in the first four games and we won't, we'll be relentless in pushing him now and continuing in that vein of form. Um, so, yeah, so we've, we've been pleased with, with everybody. Like I said, it's been, it's been a tough start. You know, we've had, we've had four really tough games. Um, we've had a very small squad. Um, we're we're not quite there yet with with where we want to be, but but we're not we're not a million miles away either. We we're saying on the commentary on the stream that Alfie's first almost first proper game in over twelve months, he did everything but managed to get himself the goal. That would have been a great story for him. Would have been great for him. Like I said, he's worked he's worked really hard the last sort of week, ten days um, to keep his fitness going while he's while he's not been involved, um, and then obviously today. With with the change of shape and, and a little bit uh, missing bodies, we he started, and uh, and he gave he put in a great shift. And like I said, the the final icing on the cake would have been to finish off with that goal. But like I said, I'm pleased that he's put the shift in. I'm pleased that he had chances, and as every striker knows, that you know it's going to take one to break his duck, and then who knows from there on, he could be you know doing like what JJ's doing at the moment with his three goals. So we're, we're like I said, we just got to be patient. And Jenks mentioned in the build-up to today's game that it was a real good opportunity to build some momentum with two home matches. We've got the first one with three points. The boys will be going into Saturday's game against Hartlepool, which will be a tough game with plenty of confidence. They should be. They shouldn't. And again, it goes back to that mentality thing again. You know, um, we we've played for 65 minutes on Saturday, and for me, we're going to be one of the best teams in the division. And we've we've run them close tonight. We've won one nil, and probably was a little bit closer than. It should have been. Um, so, like I said, so there's no reason now why we can't build on that again and look to go into Saturday. And Saturday's going to be a tough game as well. But there's no reason why we can't build on that and the boys can then, you know, become a little bit more expansive and be a little bit more clinical in front of the goal and, and, uh, and add maybe one or two more goals to their tally.